Conservative activist Carol Hefner has announced her campaign for Oklahoma City Mayor. Trace, with the uh, initial take on this, is that the four people that she uh, mentioned are supporting her are State Senator Shane Jett, who is from uh, Shawnee area. It's possible he lives in a very fringe corner of Oklahoma City, but his state senate seat is almost exclusively out in Shawnee. Denise Hader, which I can't remember where she's at, but County Commissioner Mark Hader. So it's like literally, are they related? Are they husband and wife? So a state rep and a county commissioner? I guess then that might mean she's from out Yukon area. Anyway, Canadian County. There is a tiny bit of Canadian County that's in Oklahoma City, but again, probably not in it. Um, and then uh, commander of the National Guard, former commander of the National Guard. Anyway, this is scary. It seems that her campaign is off to like kind of an amateurish start, which I guess is probably to be expected. But Carol will probably is probably going to be more of a compelling candidate for the far right. She was Trump's event person in 2016, whatever that meant. And then she's been, um, she was at one of the anti-mask meetings uh, to argue against masking in Oklahoma City when that was the policy to fight COVID. Just, I don't know. Just, yeah. Holt's super popular. I really don't think these people are going to get any traction. I was hoping the mayor's race would kind of just quietly go away and we'd could go on to other stuff that's probably more important than losing to Holt by 40 points. But, you know, now he has a real opponent from the far right. Maybe she gets 20%. I don't know. There would need to be a lot to even push Holt to a runoff, in my opinion. I mean, Holt just out of the box is probably getting 70% of the vote against even a legit opponent. He's that well-liked and well-known So, I mean, if she was able to peel off 20, I mean, that could get him down to, like, 70 or 50-ish percent. I I don't know. You would need a legit opponent on the left that could really galvanize people and turn out some folks uh, to get Holt under the threshold for runoff. And then you may just end up creating a runoff between him and Carol Hefner, which would be... I mean, he should win that one if he can galvanize the Democratic votes. Anyway, I, I don't see a real path here for anyone, but we'll see. I mean, she could raise a bunch of money. Well, she could loan herself a bunch of money from her family. When you have a highway and a lake named after you, and formerly an oil company, or maybe they still have an oil company. Anyway, it's pretty easy to run for office. Thanks for watching our video. Please give it a like and hit that subscribe button for more content. If you want to engage with us, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram.